I'm trying new equipment, so my lips will be out of sync, and I'll be looking in the wrong direction. This is going to be a fun one. Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. Uh, this last week has been another great week. Uh, a couple good videos that came out. Number one, I did a video on a chisel plane. Uh, this is not the chisel plane because I've actually sent that one off to its new owner. Um, and this one is one that I'm gonna be doing here sometime soon. But uh, yeah, chisel plane is actually kind of a fun tool. Um, getting into corners anytime where you you know you have a joint but you want to plane all the way up against it, it's great for that. Um, it's also great for doing glue removal and uh, things like that when you want to just kind of get up to the edge and there's like drip out or something like that. Um, fantastic for getting into corners. So a chisel plane is a great tool to have on hand. Uh, the other video that I did this week was actually on steering a handsaw. And uh, I've had a lot of people ask me, um, you know, how do you actually get a, a saw to cut straight down the line? How do you get it from veering off? And I kind of went over some of the things that I do. Yes, you can steer it by twisting and pushing, uh, but you know, how can you actually stop from having to steer it and just have it uh, go straight down the line? So um, it's kind of a mystic thing to cut a straight line for some people, but uh, it's not all that difficult once you understand a few principles. So for this next week, I have a few videos coming out. Number one, I've been wanting for a while to do a new shooting board. And so I'm in the process of finishing this one up so I can have a video on that. And a shooting board is a fantastic way of squaring up the end of a board and shooting off the end and making it perfectly 90 degrees um, and uh, just a, a really nice tool that most everyone should have, even if you run a power tool shop, there are some great uses for a shooting board. So I'm gonna be going over that. The second video for the week, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to be doing, uh, but I'm thinking if I can get the chance, I want to actually do um, a new leg vise. This is out of a slab of cherry that was actually given to me by a friend, um, someone who I went to college with, but uh, didn't uh, stay in touch with. He just found me on the channel. So uh, thank you. I'm looking forward to uh, using that. I'm also going to be using a wooden screw from Acer Ferris. Um, this is absolutely gorgeous uh, maple and it will provide an incredible amount of force. I'm looking forward to putting that into a cherry block, so yeah. Another fun thing is I'm actually starting an email newsletter. So I'm gonna be sending out an email uh, once a week, maybe once every other week. I haven't quite figured out how I wanna do that, uh, but it's videos and other resources that I find online that I find inspirational. So if you're ever looking for new sources of inspiration or new channels to follow, things like that, um, I'll leave a link to where you can sign up for the newsletter in the description below. The Patreon question of the week is from Kyle Prince, and he asks, what is the first saw I should get? If I have one saw that can do most things, what should I get? And my response to you is actually a cross-cut panel saw. Uh, this might be a little bit long, something in the range of like uh, 18 to 20 inches long with a cross-cut pattern, somewhere around six to eight TPI. Um, and I really don't have any problem with getting a, a cheap saw like this from the big box store. Um, they're hardened teeth, so you're not gonna be able to sharpen them in the future, but it will show you what a sharp saw feels like, and it will last you, uh, the teeth will last a little bit longer than a traditional saw, um, but once it goes dull, it's trash, you throw it away. But for the price, getting started, this really is not a bad idea. It, uh, it will provide a lot of that skill that you're starting to look for, and once you start to get the idea of how a saw works, then you can go up to something a little better than that. The other nice thing about a uh, cross-cut panel saw like this is you really can do most things with it. If you wanted to, you could do dovetails with this. You could do all your joinery work with this. And it's easier to uh, rip with a cross-cut than it is to cross-cut with a rip saw. So it is kind of the, the versatile saw. Um, the other one that I use constantly is a sack saw. Um, and uh, this is probably the most used tool in the shop, but that's because I do a lot of joinery. Um, anytime you're working with small things, a sash saw really is a, a fantastic tool to have, and probably the one I use more than anything else. But uh, yeah, if you're just gonna start with one, then go get yourself a cross-cut panel saw. So my shout out of the week is to Shogun Jimmy. Uh, if you haven't seen his channel, you gotta go take a look at it. He does a lot of interesting things. Um, he made some pins that were similar to mine with the, the six sides, but he made them on a CNC. Really kind of an interesting idea. And he's got uh, some 
great inspiration over there. He also does a lot of uh, shout outs to other channels and things like that. Uh, just a really good channel with a lot of fun and inspirational ideas. So definitely go check out Shogun Jimmy. So that's about it for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this was a really fun one for me. Uh, if you did like the video, please hit like and uh, think about subscribing. Also, I want to say an incredible thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are phenomenal and one of the great reasons why this channel is still here today. If you did like this video, feel free to check out one of my others. You might find something you like there. And until next time, have a wonderful day.